Busby's Igloo Mission, A Snowy Winter's Tale by Teddy Snuggletail for Comfy Corner Time. The short, dark days of winter fell like a thick, velvety blanket over the land. All the meadow friends had nestled into their homes for winter. Unaware of the tiny adventure that was about to unfold. In a cosy corner of the hive, the smallest bee with the biggest heart snuggled in with his grandma. He curled his tiny wings around her like a big warm hug. I'll keep you warm, Granny, he buzzed. Ow, ow! Wind whistled and howled like a pack of wolves. The curious little Fuzzby popped his head out to see what was going on. Oh, he shouted as a bee-sized snowflake landed on his face. A white, cold, glittering sea of snow had swallowed up his world. Inside the family hive, shivers replaced the usual warm buzz. Mischievous draughts sneaked through the hive wall, their cruel icy fingers poking at his family. What could he do? He wrapped his tiny wings around himself. The stinging realisation of his tininess held him back. Fuzzby stood shivering. He gazed at the giant snowflakes. They danced like ballerinas outside. I need to help, but how? he thought. Fuzzby, darling, this reminds me of a story. Fuzzby smiled. He loved his grandma's stories. Do you remember the one about the little penguin and the igloo? Grandma, you're a genius! His face lit up like a dart. Fuzzby zipped across the hive, shooting out through the door. The stinging cold nipped at his fragile wings. He spun out of control. Reaching out, he grabbed the nearest tree. With a tight grip, his tiny little feet inched their way out of the driving wind. A huge gust loosened his hold and he spun backwards like a leaf. Help! he squeaked, landing on a soft, warm, feathery blanket. Fuzzby found himself staring up into the big, soft eyes of his dear friend, Owl. What are you doing out? asked Owl, puzzled. Around them, the wind howled furiously, its icy fingers trying to snatch Fuzzby away. The hive is freezing. I can't keep the wind out. I need to build an igloo to keep it warm. Fuzzby shouted over the roar. But I know I'm too small and all my friends are hibernating, sobbed a poor, desperate Fuzzby. Not all of them, hooted Owl. Fuzzby nestled into the warm, downy feathers of Owl. The relentless wind buffeted them. Owl alighted with Grace on a stone wall. Then, with an unexpected leap, they were on the ground, knee-deep in snow. A snowball whizzed past, missing them by a whisker, shattering into a spray of frosty fragments on the wall behind. Ba 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 laughed the mischievous sheep. Time to put your snowball skills to work, hooted Owl. Fuzzby peeked out from under the owl's warm feather. I need help to build an igloo around the hive, he shouted. His soft little voice whispered in the ears of the sheep. Right-o, bleated Bertha. Come on, girls, let's get to work. In moments, a flurry of activity erupted among the herd. Snowball by snowball, the igloo began to take shape. 
The sheep worked in harmony, shaping and stacking, while Bertha expertly smoothed each layer. In no time, the last piece nestled into the beautiful dome. It stood perfect and complete. Thank you, oh thank you, Fuzzby buzzed around inside the dome. His little voice bounced from wall to wall. You're welcome, bleated the herd, and with a flurry of snow they stampeded off to continue their games. Owl perched beside the hive within the snug dome. He tucked his head under his wing and drifted into a peaceful day's sleep. Inside, the hive hummed with buzz, buzz, a chorus of joy for their little hero. Fuzzby floated on the wings of his hive's happiness, his tiny heart swelling with pride. Nestled in his grandma's wings, with a contented sigh, he closed his eyes, drifting off into a long, warm sleep. Even the smallest wings can carry the greatest courage and show us that bravery comes in all sizes.